Greetings, you godless basement-dwelling dice-rolling heathens, and welcome back to another session of Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. I bet you haven't seen the sun in a week, have you? Probably because you're sat binge-watching this series. As well you should. I'm proud of you, Billy. Yes, you, Billy, with the blue turtle beaches. Hi. There's gotta be at least one Billy out there that watches this drivel, right? Before we set out, I want to update you on a few things. Firstly, you may have noticed by now that I am now level 21. I went and farmed namely two enemies to see if they dropped any legendary gear on the fact that I was getting rinsed repeatedly by some very spooky skeletons. And that they did. I got rid of the lightning conjuring Jacobs and replaced it with this beauty called the Masterwork Hambo that I swiped from Captain Swallow. I don't even know what it does yet, I figured it might be fun to experiment with it on screen and figure it the fuck out, who knows, whatever. And the other I obtained from the monstrous mushroom man in the Weep Wild, and I have zero fucking idea what it does either. Secondly, the reason for the drastic difference in level. I figured I hadn't played any co-op yet, so I did a little blind playdate with a random stranger on the internet, figuring that the game wouldn't matchmake me with someone further in the story than I was. And I may have fucked up by doing that. So the area that I initially spawned in was this place in the sky with a lot of plants, and because I didn't recognize it, I didn't want to move. So I kinda just sat there and ate food and twiddled my thumbs doing fuck all while the guy ran off killing shit. Then we teleported from there and killed the Skull Knight bitch again and the Banshee. Then we teleported to this weird frost mountain place that I haven't seen yet either and I stood in place same as I did with the fucking sky place and let him run off killing shit as well. And then he kicked me after about 20 minutes or so. Probably because he thought I was AFK or because I wasn't doing shit, I, I don't know. Either way, that just about catches you up to now, so welcome back to Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. One other thing that I'm a little bit curious about is, there was a magic bean over here, I think it was. So this green thing that I was passing up this entire time was uh, this bean thing, and it told me to put it in my pocket, and uh, it told me to go plant it somewhere. So I wandered around for a bit, I wandered around for like two minutes, and then I went up this way. And uh, he wanted me to plant him right here. So the reason for the percentage of the level is, I think when you join somebody else's game and they're in the map, whether you're doing shit or not, it also counts as progress for you on your game file. So that's why there's a percent level in this place. I have not even gone in this place yet. Like technically I've been in it, but I have no idea what the fuck it's about. So, uh, yeah, welcome to, uh, Tangle Drift, I guess it's called. Let's get cooking, little and, uh, I think Brick is gonna be here as well, because there was a little, uh, insert where Brick popped up and gave me a little bit of a rundown with words saying there was evil plants overrunning this place. Or some shit like that. So we're gonna go look for Brick. And apparently there's evil plants. I gotta turn my audio up a little bit here, it's a little bit quiet for me. Sorry about that. Hello, sir. You okay? What? Oh yeah, they gotta wear goggles, don't they? Because they're probably staring at the sun. Like, directly, like, even closer than we are. Either that or, you know, he's just a random citizen with his shirt off, as you do in Borderlands. Ooh. Was that plant named Gerald? The fuck? He screamed very violently when I hit the plant. Okay. Is that my phone ringing? No, it's not. Alright. Sorry about that. Uh, how did I get to 23 health? What the fuck? Jesus Christ. What's up, Sorel? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Please correct me if I'm not, because I don't want to be a cunt. Welcome to my shit channel, where I play shit video games. Actually, I play very good video games very poorly. This is a fun area. There's some pretty fun puzzles and jumps in here. I hope so. This concept has me really excited. Spiderwebs? I don't like that. Whenever I enter an area and I see spiderwebs, I get all nervous and apprehensive a little bit, because I don't like giant spiders. Or spiders in general, regardless of size. Just they have mandibles and they have fucking eight legs and they fucking move all weird. Just I don't like it at all. Is there any hidden shit up here? No, apparently not. 
I gotta be careful so I don't, like, accidentally plummet to my death vaulting over a bale of hay. So Brick is indeed here, which is pretty cool. The fuck? Oh, this is gonna be- yeah, it's gonna be a slide, huh? Oh, there's definitely some up there. I'm definitely going up there. They wouldn't put a yellow fucking piss marking here if there wasn't anything here. Ooh. Well, I spy a blue fucking shotgun that I want, preferably. A regent? I still can't roll my R's. I really want to learn how to do that. I could be so much funnier if I knew how to do that. Imagine all the funny accents I could do. I could sound like that guy. Who doesn't want to sound like that guy? That's a barrel. I was going to say I probably shouldn't have jumped on that. It was probably dumb. So this is the Masterwork Hambo. So let's see what the Masterwork Hambo does. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. So it works just like the wagon wheel in Borderlands 3, does it? Oh, it's re-adding the shot. Ah, okay. It's re-adding the shot to my magazine if I hit a crit, I think. Yeah, it's if I hit a crit. All right, that's what I just tested with that body shot. So yeah, it definitely works like that. Okay, that's interesting. So they basically just combined two legendaries into one and made it more practical, I guess? Oh, there's the obelisk. Oh, absolutely, I'm getting that. Uh, wacky? Weak? Willing to die, hopefully. I really hate the flying enemies in this game. I saw when I entered the uh, frost level with the dude, I heard some fucking flappy shit and I looked off into the distance and there were some of these enemies there, so. And from what I saw, they look really annoying. And they like never land on the ground, they basically just sit in the air all the time. I'm a little bit worried about that if I'm being completely honest. That my character isn't exactly built for aerial enemies, so I'm a little bit worried about that as well. A credit to the brave. Also, I should probably find a way to recharge my shield before I get burnt to death. This isn't Dark Souls, for fuck's sake. Dark Souls is never this colorful, that's how you can tell. Dark Souls is never this vibrant. Dark Souls is always depressing and dreary. And, you know, evil. And it has knights all over the place and shit like that. Well, where the fuck am I supposed to get my shield back? They're just gonna fly over here and burn me to death. Which is exactly what I was worried about to begin with. Yeah, see, exactly. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I can't do shit. Oh, can I, like, jump over here? Oh, yeah, an RPG might help, actually. Come to think of it. Oh, that's nonsense. Okay, I'm gonna get some distance away from these evil fucking winged wyverns. And hopefully trying to not die, preferably. Oh, yeah. Yeah, get him in the head. What the fuck was that? I was fucking shot like 20 feet in the air then. That's really scary when you're fucking billions of feet above the ground. Fucking literally nautical miles. Nautical mileage. Although nautical is water, isn't it? I think. Possibly. Is that one shooting darkness at me? Pure concentrated darkness. What is this, Kingdom Hearts? Am I fighting heartless dragons? Is that what this is? That one, where did that snowball come from? Okay, all right. They can conjure balls of ice. They can conjure balls of darkness. Are there any other balls that I should be worried about? Huh? Aside from, you know, the joke that I know you all want to make right now and that I'm trying very hard not to make because I have standards, damn it. They are very hard to hit. I will give them that. And they do not sit still for shit. Uh-huh. I move, like, slightly to the left. He's not even close to death. I gotta hit, like, four more criticals for him to die. There's one. Oh, there's two in a row? Yes. Well, I'm in trouble because there's infinitely more wyverns than there were before. Although they're not doing shit to me, shield, thankfully. 
Eldritch. El yeah, Eldritch Wyvern. Alright, well, you need to die first, clearly. I'm glad he sat there and let me get two free shots on him then. He's rather dumb. He hasn't hit me with that snowball yet, surprisingly. That one has very good accuracy, though. That's just that one. Oh! Okay. Alright, I was gonna move out of the way then, but... Please kill it. Yeah, I killed it. God, they're hard to kill. No, come to think of it, maybe this is not the best weapon for this. Oh shit, are you kidding me? I'm dead here. I'm dead here. So I can't do shit. Man, that's fucking crap. That really is fucking crap. Like, how does it expect me to hit them accurately? Do I have to do the whole wave of wyverns again, or can I just pick up from where I was and kill the rest of them? That really is nonsense. That's exactly why I hate flying enemies. That's positively why I hate well, flying enemies. Because you, you can't fucking hit them for shit. At least I can't. See, if, like, just one of them could sit in place so I could get, like, the critical off and just murder all of them, that would be very handy. What the fu- how did that hit me? There's no way. I'm sorry, there's no fucking way that hit me. Alright, though. There we are. There we are. Yeah, I wish I had turned away and not touched the giant green glowing obelisk. Very stupidly. Why, how did that miss? Was I too high then? I might have been too high then. Probably too high right now. That's probably why I'm seeing winged wyverns and fucking plants in the sky. Oh, there we go. I turned my face right around into a snowball. Well done. Sorry, this is so fucking boring. Obsidian wyvern? What the fuck is that? Hi? Where did he come from? Is he gonna sit there and just let me kill him? Please. Please, I deserve it. You know I deserve it. You know I deserve it. Alright, is the game just gonna give me a freebie? Alright. Cool. That makes up for the bullshit I got earlier. Although half his shit spilled off the ledge. Which is also, again, why I fl hate flying enemies. I already have that. See, I would have been pissed if he dropped this legendary, like, off the ledge. But I also would have been pissed had it not dropped off the ledge. What is that up there, then? What is that? There's a portal up there. Yeah, right there. I can see that. What is that? Right there. Oh, is this a slide, too? Can I go? No, because this one's going upward. Yeah, this one's going upward, so I can't go up that one. Alright. Ooh! Excuse me, sir. I'm interested in your very fine box. Would you mind, uh... Would you mind putting your guard down a little bit? I must have to buy him a drink first. That might be what it is. I might have to take him out to Olive Garden. Some shit like that. Coincidentally, which is... <laughs> you know, plants. Garden. You get it. You get it. I like that. Like, five minutes in, I've already died. Amazing. It's gotta be a new record. I might have actually finally beaten Darkside Phil. Believe it or not. In the one category I could conceivably beat him in. Actually, where am I going before I get too sidetracked? Actually, let me put my quest on... Is it this? No, it's not that. It's not that. Go to Mount Craw. Oh, that must have been the ice place. Oh, that must have been the Frosty Death Mountain thing that I got earlier. Playing with that handsome random gentleman. I don't know. He may have been handsome. I only heard him by voice. I didn't see him by, you know, actual face. Oh, there he is. So you might ask yourself, how do you miss a fucking eight foot tall man with butterfly wings? Let's just say I've got a green thumb and a the only guy that could thumb wrestle Hulk Hogan and probably beat him. Alright. Let me get a drink of me coke first. Dick. 
Oh, there we go. He's waiting for me as well. Good lad. Good lad. Thank you, Brick. Sorry about that. He has incredibly tight pants. Not that I'm looking. I mean, clearly I am looking, but... Shh. What business is it of yours whose pants I look at? Exactly. Oh, speaking of looking at pants, I gotta look at some skills. Because I have quite a few more from hitting level 21 that I didn't spend. A portion of the Fate Maker's ward is reserved and cannot be restored, but her maximum health is increased. Alright. What is that? Whenever the Fate Maker melee attacks an enemy, there's a chance to release a Frost Nova, dealing Frost ability damage to nearby enemies. Frost Nova cannot critically hit. Yeah, that'd be ridiculous, wouldn't it? Alright, I'll take that. Fire rate is increased and melee attack speed is increased. While enraged, this effect is doubled. Yeah, I absolutely want that. What does this do? The Fate Maker's remaining action skill cooldown is reduced by a percentage. If her action skill is currently active, restore a percentage of its duration instead. I'm gonna kill the sun. Okay. Alright, I don't know about that yet. I'm definitely going more decks because I'm a filthy fucking casual. If Dark Souls has taught me anything, it's that great swords are pointless and you might as well wield a fucking two and a half ounce rapier and just fucking smack shit to death. How evil. Are, are we talking about Powerpuff Girls Mojo evil or are we talking about like evil Mojo Mojo evil like Austin Powers evil? All right then. And that's how flowers are born. <laughs> he's all pitched up because he's small. <laughs> all right. Oh look, he's so teensy tiny. Yeah, pick up a ball. That's no exaggeration at all. I don't think you can pick up brick with a forklift if you tried. What is this? Burning hunger. Wyverns were meant to fly free until they got shot by heroes like you, anyway. In the All right. sacrificed town, a mighty super regal beast is imprisoned and longs to be free. It's also pretty hungry, so maybe they will make it eat. Uh. Die, please. Oh, that must be the Frost Nova they were on about. Okay, I'm cool with that. Holy shit. You know, I never really noticed how much crit damage this thing does, and this thing actually hits like a fucking freight train. When it does hit, that is. Oh, yeah! And because it replens, yeah, because it replens the magazine, you can just fucking spam shots as long as you're accurate enough. And I tend to be pretty accurate as long as I'm not fighting flying fucking enemies. That can easily kill me and then flap away with, like, literally no regard. See, this is when we actually start to appreciate the Wyverns and Dark Souls that actually sit on the ground and just let you beat the shit out of them. Like, Sin the Slumbering Dragon, Ancient Dragon, uh... What, what's the one in Dark Souls 3? There's one in Dark Souls 3 as well. The one in, uh, Dragon Eerie. I can't remember what it's called. Not Dragon Eerie, um... Fuck, I forgot what the area is called. You know what I'm on about. The one where you have to run through the gauntlet of bullshit and then, like, slam it in the head. It's been so long since I've played Dark Souls 3. It might be time to go back to that again as well. I do want to see my boy Pontiff again. I want to clap his cheeks one more time just for clapping DSP's cheeks, like, 50 times. Second only to our lord and savior Ludwig, the Accursed. Thank you, Ludwig. There's a marble of mine nearby. Go and crack it open. See, Ludwig is still alive. DSP never bested Ludwig. Never. Oh, can I actually, like, walk on that? Can I just, like, walk here? Oh, I can. Nice. Hello there. Elden spends all his time at the archives now. So oh, I see. Wait, is that to blow me off, or is that to get me here? I don't know. There's no fucking way I'm getting on that. 
There's no fucking way. I don't believe you. Can I... Can, can you quit bumping me, please, so I can get on the ledge? Jesus, fuck. Ooh, Sanguine Scarlet Chrome. That sounds neat. I want that. Heh. Fuck. <laughs> Alright. I earned that. I thought I had to pull a Zelda, and I thought I had to, like, jump into the wind to get pushed onto the platform. Not adversely be blown off into oblivion and die. Alright. <laughs> I'll, I'll take that. That one was actually my fault. I will definitely take that one with a grain of salt. That's totally fine. See, I don't care when I die and I know I fuck something up. I don't mind at all. Then it's comical, but... If I get fucked over flying wyverns and fucking skeletons with fucking electromagic and, like, all that other shit, then it's nonsense. What?! What was that then? What was that then? What was that then? Okay. Alright. <laughs> Loving this level already. Fun times. That's what, the third time I've plummeted to my death on this level? Joy. Oh, I see. Alright, so I must have walked, like, slightly right of the plank and just slid off because of collision or some shit like that, I guess. Abigail? Like, King Diamond Abigail? What kind of Abigail? What? How is that one? What? Okay, I did nothing to him. That was an assault that I didn't make. I hadn't even shot at him yet. He just, like, drowned in acid. That wasn't even my fault. I'm holding me hands up on that one. I can't get arrested for that shit. I'm innocent, I tell you. I plead the fifth. Fuck off. Fuck off. If I die again, I'm gonna get really annoyed. Preferably really don't want to fucking bleed to death. There we go. Alright, we got some healthy points. We should be right. Oh my god, damn. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, this, this fucking gun is a beast. I like his little Fu Man shoe he has. And his little fucking Mike Tyson punch-out gloves. I love it. It's adorable. Until he actually hits me in the face and breaks my spine. Or not. Ooh, ooh. Do these ones not have a crit spot? Or is it just like very particular as to where it is? Also, you're a fungus. How, how are you iron? How are you made of iron? That makes no sense. Alright, whatever. It's Tiny Tina's Wonderland, so I gotta quit questioning things. I really do. I gotta quit trying to apply logic and reason to this shit. Explains why I've fallen off the map multiple times, doesn't it? Yeah. Hello? Last light. Alright. That sounds like an alternative name for Linkin Park's most recent and last album. Hello, what's this? Well, the green shit isn't really ooh material, but that blue- what? Oh, hello. Where the fuck did he come from? He wasn't there before. Did my dragon just breathe fire on him through the fucking wall then? You know back in the day on your N64 when you played Quake 1 and you entered debug mode because you bought one of those fucking guidebooks for cheats? That's what that was right there. Shame on my wyvern for cheating like that. That mushroom man didn't deserve that fire. That one deserved the fucking five crossbow bolts to the face, though. Because these things are fucking evil. Oh, they cry out a little bit when they die. That's horrible. Don't make me feel bad for you. I'm gonna have to kill, like, 300 more of you before the game ends. What a spitting acid at me. That shit really hurts. Oh, is it you? No, nah, he's, he's iron, so he'd be weak to corrosion, right? So he wouldn't be producing corrosion, would he? Although he is a fungus, he has a plant, it's a mushroom. So possibly? I could use my action skill right about now. I do kind of need it for survival. This isn't plants versus zombies. It's plants versus action skill. I do like these little mortar head ones, they're kind of neat. 
stylistically. I love it when you smack them, they just like flip backwards on themselves, like with centrifugal force. Like their spine just collapses and they completely like lose body structure, I love it. That shit's hella funny. Oh, did I miss Brick again? I did, didn't I? I have to go all the way back there and get him, don't I? Oh shit, that's a pain in the ass. And I just hit that recent respawn too, so I can't just fucking plummet myself and fucking go back there that way. Shit. I'm sorry about this, I'm gonna have to run back and get him real fast. Because I think I missed his, uh... Travel to the Forge and Tangle Drift. Oh, I'm not even on the main quest, am I? Alright. Let's go do the side quest then, shall we? Ooh. Ooh, this is fun. Okay, that's kind of cool. I like that. That's pretty neat. Chains of the Elder. Ooh, okay. That sounds neat. Hi. I too hunger. Why does he look like a pot leaf? Is that anything to do with the beanstalk in the sky? Out of curiosity? Maybe. Okay. You said robbed of fire, right? So you're not going to be able to breathe any on me, right? You know, just in case for safeties, I'm gonna I'm gonna step back here a little bit. Usually I kill wyverns, but usually they're not offering to pay me. No, usually I get killed by wyverns on occasion, pretty much. I'll take that as a compliment. He said I was wise for an ape, right? Yeah. Oh, come on. What, what's with this shit? Really? What is this fucking Dark Souls type shit? Oh my god. Really? Okay, well, that, that's obviously not the way to run through, is it? Am I gonna trade anyway? Absolutely fucking lootly I am. Because I'm just that stupid. I'm just that dumb. Bolt. Go. Eh. Right. Right then. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I thought that'd be a lot worse than that. Through this door? After this, I'm assuming. I shall have my freedom. Uh, I shall be as long as you don't snackies on my backies, I think we're fine, buddy. Okay. As long as I don't have to murder you. If you try to murder me and I have to murder you, I'm going to be very sad, Mr. Dragon. Wyvern, sorry about that. A little bit racist oh, towards dragons, isn't it? Peace. And wyverns. <laughs> Can you quit laughing evilly whenever I hit a lever? Oh no. Shit! No. I'm not getting eaten by a fucking dragon. Absolutely fucking literally not, wyvern. Sorry. It's not a dragon at all, is it? Oh, that's putting in work. Alright, sticky. Sticky mode. I gotta aim better. Oh, come on. He fucking... Mm. Wait, is he just going after my wyvern then? Alright, yeah. He can be my patsy. Go after him. I'll sit here and hit you with, like, maybe two shots out of every fucking 45 I shoot. There we go. Yeah, well... Ow. That shit fucking hurt. He's nowhere near as tough as the other ones. He's supposed to be the Elder Wyvern, isn't he? Alright. Dickhead. I knew he was gonna try and fucking kill me as well. That's exactly why I stood 20 feet away from him at the fucking furnace. Where he was giggling evilly and talking about being set free 